Next up on my journey is Airlie Beach, gateway to the beautiful Whitsunday Islands. Airlie Beach is extremely popular with backpackers, and you can understand why. You can attempt every aquatic activity imaginable, and many backpackers have, and that's just in the lagoon. The Saltwater Lagoon was built to allow year-round swimming. Up here, you can't swim on the open beaches from November to May. This is due to some nasty little jellyfish which can kill humans on contact. Of course, wherever backpackers dwell, so too does a lively nightlife. And many of the staff who work at Airlie come from overseas. So instead of interviewing an Aussie, I thought I might ask a backpacker what they thought of the Witch Sundays. So say hello to Jenny Higgins, an Irish backpacker working in one of Airlie's many night spots. Back at home, I was duty manager for an Irish airline. Um, Travelling is something that I always wanted to do, so I decided to come to Australia for a year. I'm now in Early, Early Beach and I'm working for an Irish bar called Paddy Shenanigans, which is great fun, a great bar to work in, and it's certainly very busy. Everybody that works in Paddy's are Irish. We might take on the odd Scottish, um, considering they're very like ourselves. I think it's always good when you when you find somewhere that you like to stay that you do work there because it definitely gives you more of a feeling of the place because you get to know more locals and the way they live. I mean when I will travel up further the coast I'll definitely continue getting more jobs even if I don't need to I always would like to get a job just to get a more feeling of the place and the way the locals live. I never planned to stay here in Early Beach. I was travelling towards Cairns. But when I got here, I enjoyed here so much. I mean, the town itself, it's very laid back, extremely friendly people living here. And I'm here now two months. I only plan to stay two or three days. So far in Australia, I have found the people to be extremely friendly, very helpful. Um, it's very, it's laid out for the tourist industry, without a doubt. I mean, there's just so much to do and so much to see. I mean, you don't even know where to start, I mean, looking at the map. Um, the adventures, you have the weather to go out and do all the adventure sports throughout the day, and then you've got the serious social scene at night time. So I think Australia itself definitely has laid itself out for the tourist industry, and it's a brilliant, brilliant place to travel, particularly for the young backpacker. Um, you don't have to spend a lot of money, you have great hostels to stay in, and the, the everything between the adventures and social scene is fabulous. No, you're wrong. <laughs> You know, before I left home, people saying, oh, traveling in Australia on your own, particularly being a girl, I mean, it's not going to be safe. And a girl on her own, I mean, who's going to help if anything goes wrong? But traveling in Australia on your own, it couldn't be any safer because I've met so many girls who are traveling on their own that when you meet people, they everybody teams together and you move on, you meet new people all the time. So you're actually never on your own and it can't be any safer. It's perfect. You know, although I'm not a local here, I've been in Early Beach two months and it may as well be 10 years because that's the way I feel now. It's like being a local with everybody else and one big family. Now I was on a tight schedule, so I only had time to do a day trip out to the islands. But even doing a day trip is well worthwhile. I got to check out the squeaky clean Whitehaven Beach And I must say, the reef snorkeling was just fantastic. Hard life, eh? <laughs> Australia has its fair share of creepy crawlies, and some can even kill you. But for many Australian men, these animals represent employment opportunities. I mean, where else can you call yourself a crocodile hunter, or even a snake handler? The barefoot bushman is such a man. His wildlife park just out of Ely Beach is well worth a visit. How many times have you been bitten? I've never been bitten. I've had teeth hit me 26 times. But if that thing bites you with the head, yeah, you're dead, aren't you? You can watch him get all cuddly with a crocodile and even annoy some little critters yourself. <laughs> 